Hi guys, my name is Pat D. I shoot fashion, portraiture, and weddings. I hope everyone is doing fine, staying at home in the fight against COVID. As photographers, we want to be out there shooting all the time, no? But since we are all at home, no? Let's take this time and reflect and improve our skills and be inspired once again, once this thing is over soon. Right, Canon? Say hi. This is my cat, Canon. Okay, bye. So today, we're going to be talking about finding the right light outdoors and placing your couples in those beautiful lighting situations. I also would like to start by sharing with everyone that this is a free online workshop. And if you appreciate what you have learned today, please take time, donate to people working hard in these trying times. Canon's collaborating with Paymaya and various organizations to make this all happen. And there are three easy steps for your support. For Paymaya users, in the Paymaya app, choose your preferred organization under Paybills, enter code as the account number for your chosen organization. For credit, debit, prepaid users, visit donate.paymaya.com and choose from a variety of organizations. Or by scanning the QR code of your preferred organization, such as Philippines Red Cross, all donations will be promptly remitted by Paymaya to the chosen organization. So let's start with finding the right light. So I've grouped the folders into various categories, from backlight, overcast light, direct light, no, just to give you an understanding on the time of day, those kind of things. And I'll be also telling you my aperture settings, camera settings along the way. And if you have questions, just type it in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer them one by one. So let's get to it. Finding the right light. No? Uh, for me, any time of day, parang with the years of experience, parang I just know na how to place my couples, place my subject at any given time. So hopefully, in the future, you'd have the, uh, the eye also in understanding at, at any time of day, whether it be low light afternoon, sunset, you know, sunset with flare, with flare, you know, golden hour, sunset, direct light, the drama of the, the sun hitting side light and giving that drama on the leaves, hitting your couples at the same time, uh, the backlight of making the bride's hair glow, <clears throat> yeah, flare, flare, direct light, shadows, drama on the light hitting the pillars, creating those highlights on the other pillars, you know, harsh light making a situation, an image more dramatic. You know, um, there. Diba? And daming instances where you can just, you know, analyze light hitting on the couple and not hitting at the back, just on them. See the drama of that lighting. Placing your subjects in, you know, textured light. You know, sunset, golden hour, and making an awesome post out of it. You know, light and shadow. Sobrang dami eh. So, sobrang dami situations. You just need to understand the, the time of day, no? And and shoot away. Ngayon, um, my, a few tips, no? Before we start. I'd like to, for mga portraits, I like shooting my couples, my subjects, tight shot first. Because, no? Itong laging mga advice ko palagi. Laging tight shot muna. Because I analyzed both their angles. No? What works for the bride and works what works for the groom. Of course, I would favor my bride. Mas mahirap eh, because Number one, hair, hati ng hair, the dress, how it falls. The groom kasi, di ba? Very structured yung hair eh, and nag-frame agad yung face. So I'd rather favor the bride always. If we're talking about couple portraits. 
So I shoot tight first and then slowly pull back, mid shot, and go to my wide shot na full body. So always tight shot muna. So if you're thinking about taking your subjects out um, and you're not yet confident with the kinds of light that you wanna um, try, no? I would say to look for overcast light. What is overcast lighting? Overcast lighting is you know, where it's just cloudy the whole day. The sun is just hiding behind those thick clouds. That's overcast light. And there's a certain softness all over, all around, hitting the background in your subject that's very clean, very easy to, to understand. And you can just focus on your subjects and making them look awesome. And like for this one, you just had the bride with her arms not near behind her hair, but she's fixing it to create that uh, figure. And then, uh, you know, counting, you know, counting, what do you call that? Uh, counting bewang, just to get, create that uh, shape, the dress, nya. making it look, making the image look very suave and sexy at the same time. So this one, man, um, this is a classic clean lighting. A lot of photographers do this when you're starting out, even for professionals, no? Uh, we do this uh, all the time. When we see this kind of lighting, we, we shoot right away. And it's very easy for the couple. It's not super hot. Overcast light, no? The intensity of the heat of the sun no? is very, very low. And you can just direct them, make them smile. And uh, a beginner tip when you're shooting, um, always make the groom face frontal and make the bride do a bit of one-fourth or body to the side. Creating the illusion na always that the groom should be bigger by illusion and the bride should be, her body should be smaller in terms of when you're looking at the overall picture. I shot this with a 1.6 aperture to, just to soften the background with a 50mm lens. Uh, this one naman, um, I saw a nice reflection, outdoors, overcast, maganda lighting, no? look, it's super, super, super soft sa bride natin. Um, I shot this at 3.5, um, I normally shoot my settings at 1.8, 1.2, but this time I wanted to show the texture of the leaves, no? that's why I shot it at 3.5, with a 50mm lens also. The map of overcast lighting, ano eh, um, it's quite easy. You know, you can just concentrate on directing your couples. Um, aside from you know doing the usual hugs, nose to nose, fashion poses, you can make them do certain stuff like you know, if the groom is playing guitar or uh, they sing, why just why don't you guys just make them ad lib and and see some magic happen along the way. And when I'm directing also, um, you know, pag overcast lighting again, um, just have them ad-lib. Guys, ad-lib lang, you know, just hug. If you see something unique, just take the photo. Like for this one, for instance, you know, the groom hugged her in a way na hindi sa bewang around her neck, which worked quite well here. And she's naka de cuatro, it worked in the image, in the composition. I shot this at 1.8 aperture. This one is a white setting, uh, 35mm uh, at 3.5, just to show the overall effect. Kit mo, um, overcast. Oh. Um, I, I included the sky because it's super white and then super white in dress and the walkway. Parang sobrang clean lang shot. Overcast lighting again. I, I, I just concentrated on them having fun and just trying to dance or do something fun. Diba? Para ang bilis mag eh, when you're just looking at them and just directing and shooting away. Yan, overcast light, even on water. There. What can you say about your camera roll here? Hey, did, um, did you guys know Canon can play the drums? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Nagagalit. Okay, later. <laughs> Bye. Now that we've covered overcast lighting, harsh light, morning light, noontime light, 3 p.m. light, sunset drama, light and shadow, and have a firm understanding in how to, how to analyze those no? and make it work with your subjects. 
So what's next? So this is a bonus section that I'd like to incorporate. So let's go there now. So guys, this is the bonus section I was uh, telling you about. The way I was telling you guys na I go for the person's angle and shoot tight. And then after tight, I'd probably play around also doing certain special cropping. And uh, look at this. So I'm pulling back na. Uh, this is uh, this is the angle of heart. Um, I shot this three fourths. She, she was just seated in an ISO setting of 100, 2.2 aperture, and I just had someone flip the hair, I think, or did it just fly away? No, I had someone flip the hair. This is a very nice approach to making an image even more dynamic. No. Uh, one of uh, fashion's uh, tricks. Yeah, so I also love you know messy hair. I I don't like super fixed hair. The messier, the better. Um, for instance, I know this is a. I know this is Tony's angle. I just angle the, the face like this, and the groom's expression. Even though you can't see him, but you know he's looking properly with that nice smirk. I'm not not looking funny. Me lumping put into that facial expression, and I just had Tony look at me. That's it. Yeah, and, um, you can also uh, just have your couples walk. If you see a nice backlight because it's sunset, just have them walk. You know, um, walk, talk. Uh, don't keep on making them stop, and just go with the flow. Uh, uh, ako eh, you know, just be organic have fun go with the flow yeah. so for this one um, of course you no know, I always tell you guys na, I always preach na the groom has to be the bigger one the frame I had them go in front the bride uh, a bit back and to make this composition work I had the groom sit just to equalize a bit in height sila because the bride is uh, on the steps. But but you'll see yeah, that, that small detail. I had the bride made I made her made her right knee go to the left. Just, just, to, just to create that hourly last figure. So pay attention to small details. You'll notice with my images, um, expressions, body language are all very important to me. So the images I'm showing you now, um, hopefully you see na from top from head to toe no um, i noticed those things and you see those minute details that i'd like to fix and capture properly and not miss when i'm shooting 2.2 iso 100 50 mm uh, if, you, if you guys will notice i have a lot of images uh, in the 50 mm range this, this is my go-to lens Aside from this, I also use the 85 1.2, the 2470. Um, I rarely use the 72 200 during my uh, portrait shoots. At weddings, yes, for to capture candid moments, yes, with the long lens. But for portraiture work, uh, not so much. ISO 200 2.0 50 mm lens. Diba? You see, mas wala, mas lapad palagi ang guy over the girl. And you'll see, um, I placed the bride's hands on her lap and a bit hugging her a bit. And you'll see, no? I like to make the waist come out. Very, very important to me. So I always see that figure with my brides. Always emphasize as much as possible. Here, you'll notice. Yeah, um, I had Nikki bend her left leg. I'll just tiptoe a bit. The capture. It, it was a bit windy. Ganda rin ng lipad ng, diba? ng suit niya behind. So it's no, it's a, it made for a more dynamic image than your usual standing pose. This one, um, I had Nikki face me more. The groom was uh, more in illusion, more payat no. But I wanted to show the dress here, and I shot it at eye level. The Nikki didn't look a bit big here. It's just the, but she did look sexier, diba? Right? Backlit shot. The sun was behind these white um, curtains. You know, I slowed the speed 
get that glow indoors. Then again, uh, just cross your legs, bewang shot. You know, I just had uh, my model, my bride, you know, just put her hand on the wall steps just to make it more dynamic rather than both on the waist. Yeah, I love um, these kinds of shots, but I just pull back and just include the back. He's uh, this big space it gives an illusion of making your subject smaller and thinner as well at the same time there um just normal just looking at each other smiling shot but still angled correctly if you'll notice up uh, again um i'd favor the bride's face and where her um what do you call this? Yung parang cut ng face niya. This, the cut will frame her face. Eh. So I normally favor this, this angle first to begin with. So this one, you know, just uh, same uh, approach with Nikki. Just you know, just just tiptoe uh, with my bride here. Just hold the 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 branch. Just hug yourself. Enjoy. And this this uh, this is another beauty shot. Na, that I started with just to get the feel of the that frame, her angle. But, and then again, you'll see if it's a solo groom shot, I favor the cut of the hair to frame the face. Yeah, and bend legs again, just relax, you put your arms there. Yeah, there. Just look away. The back. This this makes a this makes a better composition than the normal standing straight shot, diba? So you notice there's a lot of bending with bodies when I'm shooting. So because it's for me it's more flattering in terms of diba? on the body language. Basic shot when you're shooting couples, just have them walk, looking at each other, looking down, and I try to time it. That they're both walking at the same time, having that first step sa legs nila. Back shot, look at each other, smiling. No, this one I was emphasizing her uh, waistline and also the the cut of the dress, how sexy it is. I just had her hand put on her waist. Look at how it arches uh, in around her body, diba? Super nice and sexy. Then again, I start my shot. Tight shot like this, yeah. Should have then have the hand cover an eye just to make a more dynamic image. And my off takes, you know, just how things work. But look over here, uh, um, favoring the groom, making the groom a bit bigger. Of when you're doing hugging shots, this is my favorite because. Um, brides, grooms pull the brides closer to you and by illusion when the groom is hugging in illusion the groom will tend to get bigger and the bride the girl, the female would tend to be smaller, more payat in the frame which I always love same approach, right? follow where the haircut is to get, to get that frame there so even underwater right? So you gotta straighten your body. <laughs> so look at me, straighten your body, straight legs, so I won't look short. I'd still look long, even underwater, you know. You have to make it work. So that's it. This is the bonus section. I hope you guys had fun. And let's get to the next part. Again, please take this time to make a difference and help fight COVID-19. I make a donation via PayMaya through these three easy steps. For PayMaya users, in the PayMaya app, choose your preferred organization under PayBills, enter code as the account number for your chosen organization. For credit, debit, prepaid users, visit donate.paymaya.com and choose from a variety of organizations. Or by scanning the QR code of your preferred organization, such as Philippines Red Cross, all donations will be promptly remitted by PayMaya to the chosen organization. 
Thank you guys. Please make sure you are following me at IG, Pat D11. That's P A T D Y 11. And my Facebook page, Pat D Photography. Thank you, and I'll see you guys again soon.